All right, so in the last video, I pretty much showed you how you can create uh, a Google application and enable the YouTube data API. And we made a very simple API request to the search resource, okay? Now there's obviously a bunch of more resources that you can interact with. For example, if you want to go ahead and look at the channels resource, you can. And uh, if we look at the list method, you can see that right over here that this uh, API request uh, or this, uh, yeah, this API is actually going to give you information about channels. Um, so if we look at this, if we look at the docs itself, I'm just trying to make sure that we know exactly what this specifically is for. Um, let me see. You can see that over here. Let me actually go to overview. Uh, it just basically contains information about a YouTube channel. And I think with this endpoint, uh, with these methods, I think for the list at least, um, you don't actually need to uh, uh, use OAuth2 authentication, you can actually just use the API key itself, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can search for a YouTube channel. So I'll go ahead and show you how we can search for mine. So let's go ahead and copy this endpoint over here. And let's go, I'll go ahead and create a new tab. And we're, go we're gonna need our API key, of course. Oops. So I'm going to use the same API key from the last video. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and search for a specific channel. And uh, we're going to also want to make sure we pass in the required query parameter, which is part. And for part, we're going to want to decide what actual properties we'll want to receive from uh, the API response. So it's similar to the search API, how we had that part parameter, okay? And we passed in snippet because if we actually didn't, right? Let's say, for example, if I actually removed, if I actually removed, uh, actually, I think this is required. So if I didn't actually include this, it would have probably uh, given an error or maybe it wouldn't have, but it would have definitely, um, it would have definitely just given the responses without the actual data itself, right? So you can see that if I, if I were to, uh, make the request again you can see that i now have that snippet resource and it gives me the actual data okay so that's pretty much what that part parameter does now for the channel resource uh there's actually multiple different values that you can add simultaneously uh for part as a comma separate value so it tells you that you can add stuff like branding settings i'm not too sure what branding settings are though i'm sure somewhere in the docs it will tell you there's content details, content owner details, ID, localization, snippet, statistics. I think the important thing will probably be, uh, let's do snippet and st statistics and topic details. So we'll do snippet first, comma. Remember, it's comma separated. Let's do ID and uh, statistics. And it does mention the docs that if you did want to uh, use the audit details. If you wanted to get anything related to audit details, this will actually require uh, authorization. So it says that right over here. Okay. But like I said, don't worry about that. That I will cover in a different video. So don't worry about that for now. Right now we're only working with API calls that only uh, at the bare minimum requires the API key. All right. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and pass in the for username query parameter. And I'm going to go ahead and pass in my YouTube channel's username, and hopefully this works. Uh, let's see. So it seems total results was none. I'm not sure why. Because my username is... That is the correct username. So I'm not sure why. Uh, let me see if I can get the ID of my channel. Give me one second. All right. So I'm going to try with the ID of my channel. I'm not really sure why my username just doesn't work, which is really weird, if you ask me. ID... So this is my YouTube ID, which is public for literally uh, anyone. Like, you know, if, in case you didn't know that YouTube channel IDs are public. Um, at least from what I have noticed. You can easily grab that. It's public information, so don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead and click send. Okay, there we go. So that seemed to have worked. Perfect. All right. So you can see that right over here, it gives me an array of items. And there should really only be one. I'm not sure why it gives an array, but it, because it's really just one because we're searching by ID. But you can see that it gives us um, e tag, ID, 
So they have uh, thumbnails, they have uh, localized text, statistics, and a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, uh, you can always just go over to the parameters. You can play around with this, and you can just go ahead and include this uh, inside the uh, the value for the part query parameter, and you can just see what it returns. So, and it'll answer your questions most of the time. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with um, that's pretty much it with uh, this uh, specific endpoint method. Now, if you wanted to work with the update method. Uh, let me just read it. API supports about two marketer channels as made for kids. In addition, channel video resource not contain part of them. Okay. So this is just like like some notice for you. But uh, this let's see what this says. It says it updates a channel's metadata. Um, so you can actually use this to update. Uh, let me see. I guess, yeah, just metadata. I guess stuff like descriptions, branding settings, topics, things like that. Um, and I think they do give you examples. Yep. So if you wanted to update the description, the default language, things like that, you could use this endpoint to do so. Now, this endpoint does require authorization, um, OAuth 2 specifically. And when you, uh, when you set up OAuth 2, you need to make sure that these scopes are enabled. Okay. Different uh, endpoints will have different scopes that will be required. And we'll take a look at that later on. But hopefully this tutorial makes sense and you understand how you can actually search for channels. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.